Welcome to What Gear Reviews, you legendary person. And if you're a Sony fan, consider subscribing for more Sony videos in the future. And today I'm gonna to show you guys 10 new features on your Xperia 1 or Xperia 5 devices that you will get when you update to Android 10. And don't worry if you have an older Xperia device, I'm told you will get the Android 10 update in 2020. And if it's 2020 now when you're watching the video, then keep an eye out for it, it should be coming soon. Anyway, are you ready? Let's go. So I'm gonna be really honest with you guys, the first five new upgrades are not that exciting, but I think you should know about them. So let's just fly through them real quick. Okay, number 10, Play Store security patches. So some of you might already know this, but some of you might not. I'll just fly through it quickly. On the previous versions of Android, when the operating system needed an update, it was done directly from Google as a software update, and then it would be downloaded to the device. Your device would then have to reboot, and then your device was secured. Now, you can actually get updates directly through the Play Store, which will download in the background, and therefore your phone won't have to reboot, and it's a much more seamless experience, less distracting, less annoying, and just quicker. Number nine. Okay, this one isn't that exciting, but I think you should know about it. There's a bunch of new emojis available, including apparently uh, non-gender specific emoji. And I'm not entirely sure which one that is, but it's in here somewhere. And I'm noticing some other uh, new emojis on here. So if you're an emoji person, you're gonna like this little improvement. But anyway, on to the next one. So Android 10 brings a new app to the interface and it's called digital well-being and this is actually something very similar to what we've seen on some huawei devices but now it's on google they've customized it and it's pretty awesome basically it's going to allow you to keep track of your usage of your device for example the unlocks the notifications you're receiving the dashboard will give you a full breakdown of all the apps that you've used you've got an option to use wind down. So sometimes people find it really hard to put their phone down and I'm definitely one of those people. There is a wind down feature here, which will kind of help you wind down at the end of the day. So you're not using your phone too much when really you should be spending some quality time with the people around you. Number seven. So sometimes when we're working, we need to clear all of the distractions and pop up notifications from Twitter and Instagram and Facebook can be incredibly distracting and affect your productivity. And in those times when you really need to get stuff done, you know what you're expected to do, right? What do you expect me to do? Focus. And there is a brand new focus mode here within the digital wellbeing app. And what this will actually do is allow you to mute certain apps within certain schedules. So for example, Fortnite, we can set a schedule. Okay, on this day, this day, this day, and this day, I don't want distractions between this time and this time. And that just really helps out, especially for me with Twitter just going off every other second. I can set times when I want to receive the notifications and when I don't want to receive notifications. So this is super useful. It's the new focus mode. Focus. Okay, number six, the Family Link app. Now this is actually part of the digital well-being. If you go into this, scroll to the bottom, you'll see parental controls. And then what it will do is prompt you to download the Family Link app. Now this takes controlling your children's phones to a new level. So basically you can set ground rules for certain devices. For example, you can set the time of day that they're able to use certain features and you can even block apps entirely. And if your child goes missing, you can actually use the app to locate the child. So if you go shopping or something like that and they go missing, you can actually locate their device and find them a bit quicker. So this is really useful. There's a few ways to set this up. You can either set it up as a parent or as a child or teenager. And then what you can do is download the same app on other devices, on the children's device, and then you can actually use your device to control what they're able to do. So for example, if your kid's up all night playing Fortnite, you can actually set a time where it will just not open anymore. So that's pretty awesome. If you're a parent, great feature here. It's the new family link app. Now let's move on to number five. It gets a bit more interesting from here, so stick around. So it's coming up to Christmas and maybe you use Google Maps to share your location with family members or loved ones or whatever. But maybe you want to sneak out and get them a Christmas present without them knowing. Or maybe you just want to sneak down the pub for a couple of pints. If you're sharing your location, they can see where you've been and where you are. Now there's a new feature called incognito. So if you go to the little icon in the top right corner, incognito mode, when you go to that, 
it's going to do a few things. It's going to stop saving your browse history and your search history on your Google account. It also won't update your location if you're sharing your location with anybody. And what Google Maps normally does in the standard mode is actually use your activity to personalize the maps a bit more. It won't do that either. So once you've done that, you're under the radar. You can go down the pub if you want. Number four, so this is something the Google call smart reply. And I think it's actually really handy and I just woke up the assistant. And basically what it would do is when you're having the conversation with somebody, it will actually use machine learning to try and predict what you're gonna say next. So you can see here at the bottom, no problem, you're welcome, thank you. This is a conversation from my insurance company and I can literally just push that without having to type anything and it will send that response automatically. So smart replies, that's pretty awesome. So when it comes to Apple, one of the key selling points is the sort of privacy and security. That's the, what they really push forward and they actually do something really well. And it's this, and now it's available on Android 10. You can actually customize when certain apps have access to your location. So most apps will just automatically track you all of the time. So now you actually have the option to opt out. For example, if I don't want this headphones app knowing where I am at all times, I can go to that and set it to allow only when I'm using the app, which is much better. Why do my headphones need to know where I am all of the time? And when you install new apps through the Play Store, it will give you the option the first time you install the app, if you want to opt out completely or have it on just when you're using the app or all the time. So that's a great new improvement. Number two, all right, this one is really awesome and I really like this, especially on this device. Now this is a beautiful tall phone, 21 by nine, and you can see down here you have the little pill and it's actually taking up a section of the bottom of the screen. Now with Android 10, we have gesture navigation. Let me just enable this and show you how much it changes the home screen. So now we have no little pill at the bottom of the screen. We have a bit more space. In fact, we have an entire row here where we can put more apps. And I think this is just so awesome because now you're just getting a bit more of that screen and I really, really like this. And the way that these gestures work is really cool as well. So if you swipe your finger across the bottom, it will go back and you can actually go between all of the apps that you have open just by swiping across. And you can also swipe the other way to go back through them. Then just like the pill gestures as well, if you swipe up halfway, you can bring up all your backgrounding. If you swipe all the way up, you can bring up all your apps. And then at any point on the screen, you can swipe down and it will bring down your settings. But anyway, this new gesture feature for me is one of the highlights of the update. I really like this. Just having more of this beautiful screen available when navigating the device is awesome. Number one, if you go into your display settings now, as standard, you have a dark theme, which is gonna change all of your system-wide menus to black. And this is awesome for a few reasons, not just because it looks really cool, but also, because it's gonna save power as well. So when the screen doesn't have to emit as much light, it's gonna use less power, which means your battery is gonna last longer. And that is awesome. And I really like the way this looks on all of the different menus. I just wish they had done this sooner as standard out of the box. But now thanks to Android 10, we will have this on the Sony Xperia 1 and Xperia 5. And then in the future, all of the other Xperia devices that are compatible. And there is some other cool stuff which is coming like live caption. Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna come to this device. It might be solely exclusive to Snapdragon 865 devices, but this is the idea behind it. No matter what you're watching, YouTube video or video you filmed yourself or anything, you can push the down button on the phone Go to this setting here and enable live captions and it will automatically on the device without any internet usage, caption the videos that you're watching. That's an awesome feature. Also, you'll be able to customize the shape of the icons as well on certain devices. I haven't found it here on the Sony, but that's also coming. If you guys wanna check out all of the new stuff that's gonna come with Snapdragon 865 devices like the next Sony phone, then there's a thumbnail on screen right now. Go check that one out. And if you enjoyed this, Hulk smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.